If you're ready to harness the power of your communications data, blast off with Nihilus today. Hi everyone, my name is Ram, developer advocate at Nihilus, um, and this is Coding with Nihilus. So on this live stream, we talk about building with different APIs, building with the Nihilus communication APIs, and as well other things. So my co-host blog's not here today. He'll join us on Friday. Um, until he's back, we're going to go through uh, how to parse emails with Python. So the idea behind this is instead of having to look through all the different email fields and determine what information you need, what information you need and how to extract that, we're going to look at different ways that you can parse emails using uh, Python. So to jump in, uh, we're going to first take a look at the Nihilus Quick Start Guides. And what the Quick Start Guides allow you to do is to quickly build a proof of concept and, and to easily get started with using the Nihilus SDKs. So we're going to take a look at that in a bit. And using the Nihilus API, we're going to look at different ways that we can actually parse emails. So we can parse it by the sender, the subject, um, by searching through the emails, uh, by different fields, and as well uh, parsing by which emails have attachments. So let's jump in. Let's go ahead and take a look at where we get started and then we can go through code samples of how we can actually parse emails using Nihilus. Let me share my screen. Okay, so first we're gonna start at nihilus.com. And here we're just gonna log in. And I just, I just wanna show you where you can actually grab uh, a, quick start, a quick start guide to get started. So here I am inside the dashboard and you can see all the different applications that I've been working on. And in the far left, uh, you'll see the navigation bar and here you'll see quick start guides. So let's go ahead to the quick start guides. And for now, since we're just parsing emails, we're not actually doing anything with the emails like sending emails or, or, or doing anything with the modification of emails. We're just gonna go through the read email flow. In this flow, you can take a look at how to actually get started using any one of our SDKs. So I'm gonna click on this, read email, and it's gonna uh, put us in a flow where we can actually take a look at what we're gonna be building and then we can get started. So again, one thing I wanna mention is that we have SDKs in Ruby, Node, Python, and Java. So in this live stream, we're actually going to use the Python SDK that comes with the actual quick start guides. So here, the quick start guide just gives you a walkthrough of every bit of code if you wanna integrate with Nihilus. But for now, you can go ahead and click on download app. So we're gonna download the application. We're just gonna run it locally on our own machine. So I've already gone ahead and done this and you can see I've downloaded the Python backend. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. We're not gonna to spend too much time on the actual front end. We're gonna spend most of our time looking at how to use the actual Python SDK to parse emails. So let me change my screen. I'm just gonna look at, jump into the code and here, the front end actually makes a call to Nihilus uh, forward slash read emails. And this is where it's grabbing information from the actual Nihilus API. So for now, let's go ahead and actually grab some information. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna first parse by sender. So we wanna parse emails by different senders. And in my case, I'm just gonna call this uh, the Nihilus client. I'm gonna grab all messages where uh, the sender is actually going to be from blog. So I'm going to put in blog's email, his work email. And we're just going to, we're just going to return all the emails that are from the sender blog. So this is blog's email and I've passed in the parameter from. So it's going to grab all the emails from an individual sender. So I'm just restarting the server in the background but we're gonna jump into the actual front-end application. So once I refresh the front-end application, this is gonna show me all emails that I've received uh, from blogs. So any responses from blogs, so I know we have a meeting coming up today and we have some content freeze coming up, but any message that blog has sent, 
I'll be able to parse by his messages. So that's an example of parsing by sender. The next one we're going to look at is parse emails by subject. So what we want to do here is we want to take a look at how we can actually parse an email by a specific subject. And what we would do here is we would do the same nihilist.messages.where and inside we're going to do subject. And I think I'm just going to pick a, a subject that I received recently, just a Zoom notification. Uh, so it's a, it's a specific one that I'm looking for. And you can do ones based off of any emails that you send or you think that your users are receiving. So if you want to receive multiple items such as transactional emails or any receipts that your user is receiving, you can probably search by the same subject across all the different emails. So I'm going to go ahead and just restart the server just to get this change to go. And as soon as I refresh, I should be able to receive all emails with that subject. So this is how you can parse emails by subject. So the next one we're going to take a look at is how we can actually uh, parse emails by just searching through the email. So we want to be able to search through the email body, for example, if we want to look to any specific keywords that occur inside the email. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to type in nihilist.messages.search. And inside here, we're just going to use, we're going to type in uh, a conference that I was at recently. So I was at API Days in New York. So I'm just going to type in the search term API Days and see what's sent back by the Nihilist SDK. So let me just zoom in a bit. There we go. Let's zoom in here. Okay, there we go. So now that I have this, let's go back to the actual front end. And here, when I refresh, I should be able to receive all emails that include API days anywhere inside the contents of the email. So by using the search uh, method, you can search for all emails that, complain, that contain that keyword API days. So now we've gone through searching by sender, subject, um, and as well, the entire contents of an email, let's take a look at different fields that we can look at. So let's parse emails by different fields within the actual email. And before we go ahead and do that, I just want to quickly show our developer docs, which walks you through all the different fields you can use for parsing emails. So we're going to go to developer.nihilist.com. And just when you search for messages, you'll get an you'll see the actual API uh, specifications for when you return all messages, you can take a look at the Python SDK, which is what we're using today. And it shows you all the different ways that you can parse emails using different filters. So we'll take a look at some of these filters. And as well, we took a look at search. Uh, so it gives you ways that you can actually go through and parse the emails using the different Nihilus SDKs. So let's go ahead and take a look at parsing emails by fields. So two fields we're going to look at is first, we're going to look at if an email has been starred. So we can take a look and filter based off of an email being starred. So let's go, go ahead and do that next. So here, when we do nihilist.messages, we're going to do nihilist.messages where, and we're going to pass in starred, and we're going to say equals true. So this is going to return all messages that have been starred. So just going back to the actual front end application, let's refresh and we should receive all messages that have been starred or marked as important. So that's this email right here. Another example of that is if we want to actually go and look up all emails that were received after a certain time frame. So I'm just going to pass in a, a Unix timestamp. So I'm going to grab the Unix timestamp for for yesterday. So I'm going to get all emails received after, uh, uh, received within the last day. So what we can do here is we're just going to change the field to received after, and we're going to pass in the value, which is essentially yesterday at the start of the day. So at, at, uh, at uh, 12 a.m. On, uh, on Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesday night. Uh, so all emails after, received after Tuesday night is what I want to actually display on the front end. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the server. We're going to 
head over to the front end application and click refresh. So this will load all emails that were received after uh, the, uh, within the past day. So this is how you can actually go through and parse emails by, by the different fields. So now we've looked at parsing emails by fields. Let's look at one more, which is parsing emails by attachment. So let's grab all emails that have an attachment. So here we're going to type in where has attachment equals true. So we're going to grab all emails that contain an attachment. I'm going to go back to the front end application. And again, the front end application is built out for you with the quick start guide. So you can grab this and start building applications with it and prototyping very quickly. So here I can see I've received all emails that contain an attachment. So these are a few ways that you can actually go through and parse emails. So we've taken a look at parsing emails by sender, by subject, searching the entire contents of the email, um, as well parsing by fields and parsing by attachments. So we looked at four or five ways you can parse emails using Python and the Nihilist Communication APIs. So that's it for this live stream. But I uh, just want to remind you that we have live streams every Wednesday and Friday at 2 p.m. So 2 p.m. Eastern and 11 a.m. Pacific. So our next live stream is going to be on Friday, and uh, the blog will be with me at that time. So we look forward for you to join us. Until then, please go ahead and like and subscribe. We love to hear from you um, in terms of any upcoming content you'd like to see, any feedback on existing content, and we love to engage with you online. So go ahead and follow us on the interwebs. We're at Nihilus on most surfaces. Um, but yeah, we love to hear from you, and we will see you next time.